After a six month long search, Microsoft has handed responsibility for its future to Satya Nadella who replaces Steve Ballmer and becomes only the third chief executive in the company's nearly four decade long history. Founder Bill Gates meanwhile will move over as technology advisor suggesting a more active role in the development of Microsoft. Now, According to Gates, Satya is a proven leader with hardcore engineering skills, business vision and the ability to bring people together. His vision for how technology will be used and experienced around the world is exactly what Microsoft needs as the company enters its next chapter of expanded product innovation and growth. In choosing Nadella, the executive vice president of Microsoft's cloud and enterprise group, Microsoft has turned to a highly accomplished executive in the mold of its co-founder Gates, who reportedly held out for a candidate with sufficient technical gravitas to inspire and if need be change Microsoft's engineer-driven corporate culture. At the still relatively young age of 46, Nadella oversaw one of Microsoft's fastest growing divisions, the Clouds and Enterprise Group, which accounted for $20.3 billion in revenue and $8.2 billion in operating income during the company's last fiscal year. Outsiders and colleagues both credit Nadella for helping to move Microsoft's server and tools group to a faster, more agile development model so they are no longer innovating on long, 18-month release cycles. At the same time, he's been a key player in forcing a shift in the business focus to the cloud and software as a service. Brad Silverberg, who co-founded the venture investment firm Ignition Partners after a long and successful career at Microsoft, noted that Nadell had done a remarkable job moving Microsoft to the cloud, where its Azure service is now a strong rival to Amazon's web services. Now, The new CEO walks into a job where there's lots to celebrate, but also lots to worry about as the company is still seeking where to find out its place in a post-PC world. Perhaps the most pressing question facing Nadella will be whether it's worth keeping Microsoft's different pieces together or recasting the company with fewer lines of business. But analysts familiar with Nadella say his track record is a promising harbinger. Satya Nadella, Satya Nadella is a tough, number-driven leader, according to Forrester's Ted Shadler. He is visionary, has passion for change, is making it happen, and knows what it takes to drive change in the unique Microsoft culture. An outsider would have a hard time accomplishing this in coming in fresh, and time is of the essence. There's a school of thought that suggests Microsoft is simply too big to compete with faster moving companies born in the internet era, but if Nadella buys into that worldview, he may decide to sell off the Xbox and Bing businesses, which could be a bad decision. Now, Obviously, Nadella will have to sort through competing visions of the future, but he doesn't need to rush his decision. The good news is that there's nothing immediately troubling the company's business approach of Windows and Office, and that's what pays the bills. Also, Windows Azure, the company's cloud platform, rates as an unqualified success now pulling in more than a billion dollars each quarter. And given Nadella's familiarity with Microsoft's enterprise business, the engine behind its earnings momentum, investors can remain sanguine that the new boss won't screw around with a winning formula. Now, it's, there's a, he has a lot of big questions and no easy answers, but Microsoft seems to have a lot of confidence in Satya Nadella as the new CEO of the company, and you know, I think we can pretty much trust their decision. It's been a long process, and now that Satya Nadella is now the new CEO, maybe the company can start moving forward again. Let me know what you think of Microsoft's new CEO in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!